Hi, I'm Jade, and I'm finally ready for Summer with the Masters. Okay, so if you haven't heard with Summer, if you haven't heard what Summer with the Masters is, it is an event that is going on all summer, um, and it's hosted by Tiny Worlds of Wonder and Diamonds and Washi. I will link them down below. They have a whole playlist all about how to do everything, but I'm gonna go over the first one. I got I actually have ordered five diamond paintings for this event because they made it seem so easy to get t customs done and looking up artwork and I, I got carried away but it's okay I have two today so I'll I'll show you one real quick but like the main baby is right here so the piece I chose is from Toby E Rosenthal this is it um it has a few different names online sometimes it's the sleeping cardinal sometimes it's the portrait of the cardinal different things um there's even the monk paints the cardinal it's there's many names you know how things be actually to make sure this would translate well into diamond painting i use threadbare designer which diamonds and washi and tiny worlds of wonder they both recommended in their video series which i will link the playlist to everything because they made this whole process easier so go watch that so on threadbare designer i put this in and i change the number of colors to be between uh, 45 and 50. The piece they sent me ended up being 35 because usually with customs, you're not the one choosing the number of colors and that's what they chose. So we're going with it, but this painting is gorgeous. And here, I'm gonna show you the piece. I'm gonna hold it up. Do you see how big this baby is? I'm gonna show you the figures at least up close and I will pull you down at the end of the video to see this a little bit better. Here is the cardinal. He's a sleeping old man. And here is the monk and the portrait. And I just love the whole, I guess, feeling this gives me is like, even if you're a very important person, we're all just people. Like, yeah, he still needs to sleep. He still needs to do everything. Even though the portrait of him is very regal and very like, oh, you think he's so like different and special, but we're all just people. So that's the vibes this gives me. I I don't know if that's like what they're trying to do, but that's what I get. And then I will take you over to it so that I can show you like the whole rendering and everything um, like that a little bit close. But I did want to talk a little bit more about the information about this painting before I did that. But if you don't want to hear that, skip to this time. So the company that I use to get this custom made is Mary's Diamonds. They are doing custom paintings now. And if you use public domain, it's perfect. They only do licensed artwork. So like keep that in mind. You either have to do your own artwork, have permission from an artist, which I've done that too. And I'm going to make a video on that or you need to have public domain images, which this whole series, Summer with the Masters, is for that, so um, perfect. Also, I love like old like Renaissance paintings, things from the 1920s, which luckily those just make public domain most of the time. So it's, it's super nice if you wanna do that. And I'm planning on getting a lot of, I think it's Henry Clint, 1920s like art deco things turned into diamond paintings because his work beautiful beautiful and this piece is 180 or no 100 by 80 centimeters so it is very large it is just as big as my um i just filmed a like finishes or, or uh post review for the old shoe house which it'll be right here that is or it might be right here. I'm not sure. That is pretty much the same size, it's slightly different dimensions, but pretty much the same amount of drills and boy, it's big. That one took me a month and a half. So see that video if you wanna see like everything I said about that. But when I ordered it, since it's such a large painting and obviously it's custom, it was $91 with my code Jade20. I don't get anything from them for giving you the code. The code is just to give you 20% off, so like, there you go for you uh but i'm not like paid sometimes they do send me free items but this i paid for so this was 91 dollars for this size and obviously they have smaller options this is the largest option i believe they have and yeah prices vary so i'll link the link 
the link to the custom site, the, the page where you can order your custom. The dil eh, la, la, la. I decided to go with square drills and the drills that Mary's Diamonds uses are acrylic. So if, if you know, I'm making a video on that too, on the difference between square versus acrylic drills. I mean, resin versus acrylic drills and the differences and what works better for what pros and cons of each. So if that means anything to you, the drills they use are acrylic. I ordered this painting on May 26th and it got delivered on June 19th. So less than a month, I think it was like three and a half weeks, which was really fast, especially for f five of the days it was stuck in customs, which like never happens to me in California. I don't know if that happens other places, but it never gets stuck in customs and it was stuck in customs for like five days. And usually Mary's Diamonds, I get them anywhere from, once they ship from uh, five days to three weeks, usually on the shorter end. So at least that's what it is for America, California specifically, because that's where I live, so. I'm gonna take you down and show you a little bit up close of all the details so you can see really how the rendering looks. Um, Cause you know, they're meant to be looked at far away. And from far away, I say this looks pretty damn spiffy if you ask me. And I'll also show you the section I have done because I opened it and I was like, mm, yeah, I need to start this right away. So I kit it up literally right when I opened it. I couldn't help it. Also, for some reason, the biggest um, painting, like custom paintings from Mary's Diamonds, they didn't send in a box. I don't know if Mary's Diamonds knew about that. So I am going to message them and let them know that their biggest one didn't come in a box. It was just wrapped and sent that way. Uh, but the other custom I got which is right here. The other custom that came in the same order. Also, I believe they have free shipping for everything, but the order that came, that is a smaller size, it is also a custom. And also for Summer with the Masters. I decided I'm gonna show this in a different video because uh, I need content. However, this one came in a, like they um, upgraded their boxes. Their boxes are no longer just like cardstock. Now they're actually like, cardboard so it did come in this for this one but that one did not come in a box at all and they were shipped separately so I don't know I'm gonna let them know about that but if it's a smaller painting it's gonna come in a pretty sturdy box so there's that let's go let's go hopefully there's not too much glare from the lighting but I feel like the printing is super clear I have never had a problem with the printing on Mary's Diamonds canvases everything is so clear I have not had an issue. I've already started working on this, but there is no problem seeing anything for me. They're all very, very clear. And here's the little sleepy old guy. Look at him, ain't he cute? Here is, oh, the glare. Uh, I don't know how much that is helping, but there is the face on the portrait that the monk is painting, and here's the monk. Now, of course, it's gonna look like pixelated up close. That's just how it is. And I chose the size, even though I could have propped this, I wanted to keep everything in. So there's that, but yeah, they're darks. So look at this shows everything. Here's their dark symbols, their vibrant symbols, you know, everything, their light symbols, everything's super clear. I wish they didn't have dark grids on the lighter colors. I've just noticed issues with that on other paintings. So if they could go with like a mid-tone gray for the whole grid, or if they could do like, like white grids on the light colors and then dark grids on the dark colors. I don't know. That's the only suggestion I would like to improve. And I'm going to show you the section that I have already worked on and the one that I'm currently working on move this light here are the drills Oop. these are the acrylic drills I'm putting my fingers so that my camera focuses so these are the acrylic drills and everything's coming out super straight super nice I'm, I, I'm having such a fun time on this. That's why I've already finished this like pretty big section. It's like 
the size of my hand and I'm working on the second section and I'm doing the checkered board method since there's so much color blocking in this it's it's a fun time and like I said super clear symbols I'm not having a hard time placing these at all I'm actually using a t set of tweezers that they sent they sent little gold tweezers oh I'll show you at the very end I'll show you the tweezers but other than that it's a very basic set I mean kit like you know you know what I mean and here is the colors there is 30 colors like I said and I don't feel like anything is similar enough to get confused I have not gotten confused so far every symbol is pretty original and not very similar in either color or symbol so I don't think I'm gonna get confused but there is that and there was so many drills let me show you these are my drills Oof. for this giant painting it's heavy and there's even extra bags of the letter a or well it's dmc 3371 it's like a it's like a deep chocolatey brown and there's like all of these right here are that plus this one and then i think i have like five bags that i was not able to fit in here but this is also my first time using Harbor Freight containers. And yeah, I really like the colors in this. I mean, I like the painting, so of course I should like the colors. But that is that is all all of these big this this kit. This kit up. Here's what the kit comes with. It comes with some gold tweezers, which I really have enjoyed. I've used them so far. Skinny multi-placers. Ah! A four placer and I believe this is a ten placer a plate of box and it came with a bigger boat but I'm using them for something so I cannot show that but they are like bigger than the basic boats but smaller than like the like larger white boats with the spout if that makes sense but just in case you wanted to see that that is what the kit comes with on the customs sorry if the end of the video got a little bit scatterbrained uh I have issues if i don't write them down to talk about then when i start talking about them my brain just goes left right everywhere the joys of having adhd but overall i am really enjoying this canvas so far that i've worked on and i'm having like a fun time being a part of summer with the masters i actually did order uh three paintings from a homespun hop four actually uh but the, all of those i'm still waiting for and i ordered those on may 1st and I have not received them yet. Um, but she is a very small business and she was just starting out when this company uh, was introduced to a large audience. So I'm sure she's dealing with an influx of customs, which is already hard enough to deal with. So I think she's navigating that. So I'm not gonna give her a hard time. I'm gonna give her grace on the shipping time. Stuff happens and she's having a lot of new customers. So totally get that. But this is what I'm gonna use as my main staple piece for summer with masters since it's the first one to show up well actually two came up at the same time but that's the first one and um I, the, the portrait means a lot to me i actually have this painting um like a uh like high high quality like remake of it hanging in my house that was my grandmother's um and she had it in her house like the whole time and every time i saw it like in the hallway Growing up, I just thought it was really cool and it made me, it was humbling, like I said in the little story about it. So I really wanted to have this, uh, like, you know, big and blown up and that I can spend time with it. Because I feel like I don't hang up paintings, my diamond paintings. I'm going on a spiel. You can leave if you want to. But now this is just me rambling. I like to work on diamond paintings that have art that I want to spend time with. I'm not somebody who hangs up art, as you can see. I'm more of a, I just do that. I don't have like pictures or things like that. Um, it's just not necessarily my aesthetic when it comes to that. So when I pick art to do diamond paintings of, it's art I want to spend time with. I want to feel connected to the painting and the picture. So when I do Landscapes, that's just relaxing for me. It's like doing a puzzle. But when it comes to like portraits and intense paintings that I feel like there's a story behind, it's like, I want to spend time with them. That's why I didn't mind getting this one so big. Cause like, I want to spend time with that bad boy. And uh, yeah, so if you want to 
partake in summer with the masters i believe it's going on till august so i will link all of uh diamonds washi and tiny worlds of wonders stuff below and you can go ahead and check out their playlist and join this yourself you do not have to have a custom kit you can get a ready-made one and there's tons by like diamond dots and i'm sure diamond art club has some so you can check those out but i think that's it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye